Hey guys, in this video we will be creating our custom module and then enabling it using Drush. So in order to start, let's open up our web directory, then open up our modules directory. Now prior to this video, I actually created this custom directory. Normally when you install Drupal, it doesn't come with it. So I recommend you create it. You don't have to, but I'd like to see the difference between, um, I like to organize my modules between custom and contributed modules. Contributed modules are modules that you'll find on drupal.org. Custom modules are the ones you'll be creating. So as since we are creating a movies directory, I think it makes sense for me to call our module a movie directory. So movie directory. And then, but well, you don't have to name it movie directory. You can call it whatever you want. Movie listing, movie website. It, it, it's entirely up to you. Now, the next file we have to create is our info.yaml file. So this would be, again, the uh, module name. So movie underscore directory. Whoops. Dot info.yaml. This file contains information pertaining to this module. So we will have the name, we will have a brief oops, description about it, um, package, the type, and something that's needed um, in Drupal 8.8 .8 modules and Drupal 9 is this, the core version requirements. All right, so let's start with the name. I'm going to call it movie directory. Brief description, allow users to search for information on movies. Package, um, let's just call it movies. Uh, let's call it custom, custom modules. Type, this is a module. You could have type, which is a theme, but we're not working on themes right now. And then the core version requirements, I believe this has changed since then, but when I wrote this, this is how you had to write this um, core version requirements. 9.0. Oh. Okay, so now we have our info.yaml file, we have our movie directory, directory, and what we're going to do next is actually enable this movie directory module using Drush. So open up your terminal, and if you type Drush, N, which is short for enable, um, dash Y, which is a flag to say yes to the next question that will come up, movie directory. So this, again, this, what you're seeing here is the machine name of the module. So if you called it something else, perhaps movie underscore listing, then you would type Josh N dash Y movie listing. So after this, hit enter. And there we have it, successfully enabled. Now, as the course proceeds, we will begin to add more and more files. But this is just a bare minimum. 